Yo! Hey, Connie, get out of here. This ain't for you, girl. I know you should be ashamed of yourself. Hey, slow down, girl. You want to burn some coal? I cheat, she. You keep chilling, you're going to be ill. Hey, guys, leave her alone. You're going to move down on the train on your mama. Oh, you're going to go tell the man on us now, Chi-Chi? It's Consuelo. Well, hi, Connie. Hi. Hey, listen, I just got off the phone with Han over at Special Ed. He said if you put in, he can get you approved for the college pre-med courses in the spring. Thank you, Mr. Diaz. It's my car. Scalese is this year's olive oil poster boy. The two blown cases in NYC gave him six months of press coverage. I've got a Nielsen sheet in there somewhere. This shark actually has a TV cue. He's between Richard Widmark and Sally Struthers. You can find his picture in this press kit. He's investing in a lot of legitimate stuff. He has an umbrella corporation called Hartford Hanover Investment Corporation, HHI, known in investment circles as High C. They are conservative and picking up steam. But on the crime front, Scalese is getting squeezed. The Colombians are dealing the cocaine, while the Chinese are muscling most of the heroin traffic, leaving Anton with off track and some vice action. Pornography and the edges of the cocaine and the heroin traffic. I think that behind this handsome blue-eyed face is a desperate man. And desperate men make mistakes. I'd like to work him. Well, whatever. I'm, I'm the guy that's going to have to sell this to the RD, so... Well, Michael hasn't said anything. What do you think, Santana? Can you handle this? I'm sorry. What? <laughs> he's so interested, he's not even paying attention. No, no, I'm just... For the last hour, I've been feeling really strange. I don't know. I just feel like a shadow walked over my grave or something. Weird. Santana, your brother-in-law's on the phone. He says it's important. Uncle. How is she? They're just taking her to OR. Um, I don't know. Well, where's her mother? Well, they gave her something. She started screaming. She's in there. She's under a sedative. Michael? Is she okay? Is she okay? Is she gonna be okay? Just close your eyes. They're doing everything they can. Even when it was on the news and all those important people were saying it, I always knew it wasn't true. You took me to find my first dog. I know how much you care. I've always looked up to you. Okay, okay, keep it out of there. Damn it, I can't see if you drop the flap. Peel it back. Hold it there. Your mother won't talk to me. She doesn't believe in me anymore. You're the only one who's never left me. My mother wants memories without pain. It almost never works that way, but it's 
her way of protecting us. More oxygen. I need more oxygen. Don't ever go away, Uncle Mike. Because I miss you too much. How could I ever leave you? Huh? Just don't ever leave me. Hmm? Promise me you'll never leave. I promise. Okay, let's defibrillate. Clear. Again, clear. Mr. Burns? No. Her father's on a plane on his way here. I'm her uncle. How is she? Well, we lost her for about four minutes, but uh, we got her heart going again, and we did the best we could. I uh, removed a couple of bullet fragments from the basal ganglia of the left hemisphere. That's about here. Now, that shouldn't, shouldn't affect her learning or her speech, but it might impair her sight. The bigger problem is brain trauma to the cerebral cortex, which could cause swelling and perhaps paralysis down the left side of her body. We'll know more when she starts to come around. What will that be? Well, could be hours, could be months. Or never. Right now, it's in the hands of the Lord. The media machine's planning the flag for the 6 o'clock news. Look at that Mayor Flanagan making promises he can't keep. Well, you know what we're seeing here is the Mossy Flanagan Mobile News Show. I promise you, I'll find out who killed Arturo Diaz and put this beautiful little girl in the hospital. We will correct the surge of violence in our schools, and that is my pledge for my next four years in office. God bless Art Diaz. Well, let's get somebody down there who can kick ass and take names. Well, the applications for this position have not been spirited. As a matter of fact, since Arturo got murdered, we've had two resignations. Jesse, I know you're getting started in your literary magazine, but I have to ask. When you were principal, that school was seventh in the state. Forty percent of the senior class went on to college. When I was principal, it wasn't a ghetto school. We had kids from all races there. We worked and played together, learning from each other. Things are different now. Since the mayor gerrymandered the district, we don't have cheerleaders at RFK. We have strawberries. There's no band. All of the instruments have been stolen and hocked. There are more beepers going off in those classrooms than in the doctor's lounge at County General. RFK is not a place to learn math and English. It's a place to do business. It's not a school. It's a turf. Then you won't take the job, even on a temporary basis. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It depends on all of you. How? What can we do? You can stand behind me. If I agree to go down there, I'm going to need help. If I ask for something, I'll want it. Cops in the parking lots, metal detectors, computers, band equipment. How about Arnold Schwarzenegger? Him, too. <laughs> they calls me a pile of dead presidents. You lose my beepers, you're going to get a trip to the home. You two, what I got to do? Get your IQ test? You got to kill the principal and take his ride. Maybe I got to start giving everybody IQ tests. My business is business. And Tommy Bus Baker, he know how to TCB. Dig it? Now, since Devon lost his, we gonna give this to Hong Hell. You ain't no watcher no more. Now you's a dealer. These OGs gonna watch for you. You cut the grass. You make the cash. It's that simple. Where's the ride? You two invalids ain't still driving it around, I hope. We torch and ditch a couple miles south of here. From now on, we get Mina 
and clean up. Say hallelujah and book out of here. Boy, sometimes if it wasn't for dumb luck, we wouldn't have any luck at all. I'm sorry, Michael. I don't know what to say. I need to take some time off, Hill. I need time to get it together. Time to get it together? Yeah. I want to stay at the hospital, keep an eye on Connie. And that's why you called the lifeguard, ask him to ride the police band. That's why you took the RFK yearbook out of your niece's room, ask him to run every name through the computer with a red flag up for drug and auto theft priors and OGs. OGs? Oh, oh gangbangers. Now, this doesn't sound much like a guy taking time off to get it together, do it? And you got to back off of this. Now, I know what you're feeling. You love her. But the chances of you screwing up because you're emotionally involved are off the probability chart. You've got to sit this one out. You've got to. Oh, yeah. I saw you sitting out the Terranova disappearance. You were a magnificent example of self-restraint and control. What? Hey, I saw that coming. It doesn't make him right. Or me either. Someone's got to stay close to him, Frank. Don't leave me, honey. Please don't leave me. I'm gonna get whoever did this, but you gotta promise not to leave me. You friend of hers? Yeah, from high school. Since the first grade. Call this assembly to order. My name is Jesse Haynes. I went to school here. I played football and basketball here. I taught here. And six years ago, I was the principal here. And it has become my misfortune to become your principal again. I am not a nice guy. I have no room in my heart for drug dealers. So if you are a drug dealer, get the hell out of my school. There will be no second warning. The students from RFK are allowed pencils, rulers, pens and protractors, pencil boxes, and computers. That will be all of the additional armament allowed. From this morning on, there will be no beepers, no switchblades, saps, or firearms allowed in this school or on this campus. On this campus, you have no constitutional rights. That means that you are subjected to personal searches. 
Refusal to allow a search will result in suspension. Sounds like fun. No. On the subject of dress and hygiene, as I look out over this room, I get the feeling that I'm talking to extras in a Madonna video. As of tomorrow, we will have a new dress code. Everybody will be clean with washed hair. And that's probably enough bad news for one day. In the good news department, we're getting new instruments. We're having a practice for the band tomorrow afternoon. Also, anybody interested in athletics or science or drama or any other activities after school, we will meet here at 3.30 this afternoon. Any questions? Yeah. How long you figure you're gonna live? I'm planning to live past 80. Let me ask you a question. Knock yourself out. Are you armed? Nah. Stand up, please. If you're carrying a gun, give it to me. You touch me, you dead, sucker. This thing better shoot water or you're on your way home, mister. Up again, I'm turning you over to the police. You got it? Yo, dead. Hey, that could happen to anyone, even you. <laughs> great. Just great. But pulling that gun on a student, you probably won't last long. Oh, it's just school equipment. I started a gun from Coach Logan's office. <laughs> Since Mr. Loeffler resigned, I'm going to be teaching this class. Now, the one thing all of these Greek heroes shared was the concept of hubris. That was the wanton insolence or arrogance resulting in excess pride or passion. Now, there are some of you in this school who have a little bit of hubris, like the guy I threw out of assembly this morning. Who else? How about Reggie Jackson or Jimmy Connors? It doesn't have to be bad. Sometimes believing in yourself, having a little bit of pride and self-confidence can be a good thing. But sometimes it can destroy you like it did King Rex. Thebes was a place in Greece. It could be a lot like New Jersey here today. And Oedipus Rex was kind of like the guy who ran things, a gang guy. But he's got his problems. People are getting sick in the neighborhood real sick and dying. Like if there was maybe some kind of um, bad water in the reservoir. Or like bad heroin on the streets that ain't been stepped on. Right. Probably your mom calling you home early for dinner. Yeah, probably. Give it to me. Give it to me. Wait here.
Can I help you? I don't think so. Don't let me, I insist. It's just all you want. I don't want I don't want any help. I call the cops. I'm Michael Santana, I'm Connie Burns' uncle. Michael Santana. You're in the drug business. What? My picture in the post office already? I got it from the police report on your niece's assault. It was mentioned in there that she was the niece of Michael Santana, a man who has Latin drug connections. I got a problem with drug dealers. So why don't you get going while you can still walk? I love my niece. Oh, yeah, you love your niece, but you're willing to sell that poison to mine. Get out of here. I got deals going down in the toilet. I got a fresh murder in the quad, and I got these things going off in my classroom. And now I got you in the parking lot. I'm losing my patience. So why don't you get out of here before I put my fist upside your head? Hey, I'm not looking to fight with you. I'm just trying to find out who shot my niece. I figured there was a drug deal that you witnessed. And these cars don't belong to movie stars. Goodbye, Mr. Santana. And if I see you again, I'm gonna have you arrested. You know, if you'd have been here before, maybe none of this would have happened. Good luck. Long's Bookstore, this is Bill speaking. I did, code 8705. How you doing, Michael? Sorry about your niece. How is she? Still alive, still unconscious. <sighs> well, I'm still on his high school yearbook, but I gotta pick my spots to run it. That's 500 names. Yeah, well, I got another thing, Uncle Bill. I need this right away. All right, shoot. I got a beeper made by Lit Back Industries. Serial number 23488790. I need to know who owns this puppy. All right, where are you? My current office is a payphone. Phone number 5556774. Stay put. I'll be back to you in 10. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, do you have an appointment? No, you do. Come on, let's go. What? What? Where? What? Whoa. Are you, you kidnapping me? What is this? See this? This beeper is supplied by you. It's being used to push drugs in the local high school. C come on, I'm no drug dealer. I supply communications equipment, uh, beepers, cellular phones. I rent that stuff. I, I don't know what happens to it or, uh, or how it's used after I rent it. So a guy walks in here who can't speak English, dripping gold, with a personality of a wooden chair. He wants to rent 50, 100 beepers. What do you think he is? The administrator of a hospital? Look, what they do with this stuff is none of my doing. Oh, no? Come here, I want to show you something. I, are you, you kidnapping me? What? I'm asking you. I'm begging you. For 20 minutes of your time, at least you should be aware of the machine you're feeding. Come on. I have to go to sales line. This is more important. Hey, hey. Who is she? Her name is Consuelo. She was a straight-A student. She loved her life. She could laugh. She could tell jokes. She wanted to be a doctor. They dug one ounce of lead out of the soft gray matter in her brain. She may never wake up. If she does, she may be blind or paralyzed, but you don't have anything to do with this. You just rent those little beepers to guys who do with them what they want. You're okay, Mr. Rosen. You got kids? Yeah. These yours? Yeah. Are they healthy? Good. She may never wake up. I'm sorry. She's yours, isn't she? Do something. Help me. His name is Tommy Baker, the Cullen Bus. I'm sorry. I can see how much you love her. Life's a bitch. Tuesday's shootings, Robert F. Kennedy High School has undergone a massive transition with equipment and procedures reminiscent of Middle Eastern airport security. New principal Jesse Haynes has instituted what can only be described as martial law at RFK. Get out of here. I don't want to see your face around here anymore. 
This thing is made to order. Now, he's the BOE's choice, but we're claiming him. This guy is like something out of a Crime Busters comic book. You got his stats there? Now, he was principal before for six years. Real hands-on administrator. That's why you picked him. Right, a war hero, silver star. And a bronze star, two clusters. Just keep it short. Oh, you got those 30-second sound bites I gave yeah. you the ones Mary wrote? This is the first step in a march for better education. Oh, I like that Shakespearean quote you found, too. Try to slip that in. Now, Sandy Wong is doing it for WDOL. Now, she beat you up good over that Melissa Anderson story, so she might turn nasty if she... That rice-propelled bitch. She broke the story. If it hadn't been for her... Mossy, just stay calm. This is Sandy Wong in front of RFK High School. This is exactly what I've been looking for, Jess. <laughs> okay, Rod, we're hot. Let's do some B-roll and tell Mark to roll the sound. I told Chief Lanier that I had to have these metal detectors here immediately. I'm glad they got here so soon. Yeah, thanks. Listen, Jess, you, uh, you don't mind doing a little stand-up with me here, do you? Well, I, uh... Sure. You guys ready? You rolling? Okay. I said I was going to get tough. And I meant it. We have drug lords in our city. I suppose that's inevitable. But do we need to tolerate it in our schools? And I say, not in my schools. And to that end, I've appointed Jesse Haynes to be the new principal at RFK. Now, when Jesse was principal here before, this school was one of the best in the state. He's a war hero. Bronze star, two oak leaf clusters. I want to reintroduce you to the man I've chosen to take this first step in a march to better education in our inner city school. Thank you. Pride and self-worth should be every child's privilege. And we have the absolute responsibility of protecting and nurturing it. But you can't teach English and history in a battle zone. The mayor has allowed me to have this post, but I want to tell you something. He helped create the problem I'm trying to solve. When I was principal here, this wasn't classified as a inner city school. But Mayor Flanagan redrew the city school district on a map. This district looks like a six-legged octopus. Tentacles reaching out into every low-income and poverty area in the city. What we have now are more children from broken homes, more poverty and starvation cases, higher levels of disease and violence, all of it cleverly grouped into this one school to feed on itself and to fester and multiply. Robert F. Kennedy High School is a disaster in public education. I doubt if I will be improving this disaster, I'm sad to say. I'll probably just be hosting it. Tell Alan I want a deep background check, everything. War record, BOE time, anything he's written, lit mags, the works. Sports, college. This needs to be bulletproof. This school is a disgrace, a blight on the educational landscape. In a modern industrialized country where we can put a billion dollar telescope into space, we can't teach these children to read. I used to teach literature, the Greek tragedies. Teresia said, you are the slayer of the man whose slayer you seek. At RFK, we have become the slayer of the soul whose soul we seek. Unless we start saving some souls down here, this tragedy may very well be the end of us all. Not bad, huh? Knock that slimy Flanagan right off the screen. I set him up. I knew when I made that anonymous call to his office, he would blunder in like the water buffalo he is. <laughs> Talk about hubris. Calm down, baby. All you can do, hon, is take them on one at a time. Yeah, keep that Irish wind machine from marching in my parade. He's got his hands full. <laughs> Gets his secretary pregnant, and she accuses him of doing drugs. <laughs> and he's down there in front of my school preaching like some kind of a Baptist. Just be careful. What's the story? I want to talk to Bus Baker. 
Tell him it's Michael Santana. Yeah. Get somebody to read it to you. It says I'm trouble. Success and instant death. Yeah, sure. Except I ain't buying it. This ain't the way the chili chokes do business. I'm looking for some information. The little girl that was shot at RFK was my niece. I need a name. You should cut your losses right now and sell me the trigger. That way you can keep cruising along. If not, I'm gonna bring some mid-American trouble right into your office building. I don't know who's called the principal or the kid. I like kids. This was a good deal I was offering you. You've got a short-sighted business mind. Too bad. I'll see you around. Don't make it too often, Greaseball. Call Scalise, tell him to run a check on Santana. I don't like to fill it, this guy. It's too relaxed. Door, call the cops. No, no cops, not yet. You got a closet we can keep them in? I, 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 down there. All right, come on, you and you. Move, move, come with me. No, not you, stay here. Now, you guys get in that closet. In! Shut that door! Who the hell are you? What is going on? Those two tried to get down your husband. Well, who are they? They're from RFK. At least they were until I threw them out. They're drug dealers. Keep an eye on that door, please. If it opens, let me know and get out of the way. All right. Chance of a lifetime coming up here. You can flip over on these two. Tell us what you know, or you can take the right with them. Attempted murder of Jesse Haynes, your principal. You get convicted, you end up under the pile in the trick bunk at Youth Authority. Them guys are my homies. Don't try mad dogging me, because I ain't serving or selling. Them guys are with G's, man. They'll kill me. Come on out, boys. Make it quick, because one chance is all you're going to get! You're Angel Rojas, aren't you? I looked up your record when I took the beeper off of you. You used to be a real good student. A year ago, you stopped studying. I ain't going to be flapping off to you, man. Your brother was Hector Rojas. I coached him in basketball 10 years ago. I remember this little kid coming to the game with his grandmother. That was you, right? 
His brother had moves you wouldn't believe. And then he started hitting the pipe. Got jumped into a gang, got a gang name, Stray Dog. Became a get-down robber, pulling stick-ups at supermarkets. Started shooting 40-40s and died from an overdose two years ago. You've got a chance here, son. These are the same guys that ended your brother's life. It's all a part of the same thing. It ain't gonna happen, man. If we don't stand up now, they're gonna get us all, you and me and him. You were at the hospital. That's where I saw you. You were Connie's friends. These two guys, they're part of the same system that put her there, in that hospital room. With the tubes coming out of her head, machine pumping her blood. You were her friend, and you won't help her. My brother died. She came every day and sat beside me in the playground and held my hand. She said that Hector was watching me and that he loved me. She said that nobody ever dies. They just change houses. They just look at you through different windows. I tried to tell her, get away. I tried to be her friend. They had to shoot her, because she saw them taking Mr. Diaz's car. She saw them kill him, and they shot her. I, I couldn't move. I didn't do anything. I just stood there. I wanted to go and hold her hand. They grabbed me, and they pushed me in the car. Take that 50-foot jump shot and make your brother proud. How about it? This kid's scared witless, but he wants to do the right thing. He can give us Buzz Baker who's a sub-distributor. According to our witness, he's supplying crack in six upstate New Jersey counties, as well as in parts of Orange and Rockland counties in New York. Two states, that makes it federal. It's a pretty low-level federal prosecution. I need to put this kid in the federal witness program. He lives alone with his grandmother. She'll move. I can't leave this to the local blues because Flanagan's shot the department with corruption. There's more brown bags here than the Safeway. I think you brought those two gangbangers in here because they're the ones that shot your niece. Now, you know that this kid is going to give him up. So you're trying to set it up for him so he can turn state's evidence to survive. Otherwise, you don't have the heart to take a chance with a kid's life. Jeez, Michael, if that's it, why didn't you say so? I didn't want to ask you to bend the rules. Am I such an Iron Maiden you can't ask me for a favor? Maybe I just think I've asked too many times. But I need this. All right. I'll file on the two state narcotics peddling charges right now. We'll footnote the murder of Diaz, as well as the attempted murders of Connie and Jesse. I'll tie it all together if I can, and we'll ring it up in federal court. All right, I'll get the kid into the witness protection program. Wait. Thanks. Now are you guys. Oh, there's a fresh piece of info.
Mr. Haynes. Yes? Cy Brenner. PCI. That's Political Consultants, Inc. I represent people here in the state who have become interested in your possible candidacy for the mayoral race against Mossy Flanagan. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. This is a result of a telephone poll my firm conducted here in the city over the last two days. You can see. You have a high name identification and an extremely high plausibility quotient. Your positive negative Q is through the roof. Obviously, it's a result of all the press you've gotten around here for the stuff you've done in the school, but it's something we can build on. Look, uh, Mr. Brenner, I'm an educator, not a politician. I think you've got the wrong man. I heard what you said about the gerrymandering of the school district. The quote from Sophocles about uh, killing souls who kill ourselves. I know this is sort of out of the blue, but I can put money and influence behind you. Democratic Party machine locally is lined up. They want you. If you become mayor, you can pretty much fix what else the system, Mr. Haynes. It's all there. They like you. They trust you. You could pull this off. Give me a call. I know I make mistakes. And sometimes I do things for the wrong reasons. But this little girl, she's one of your best ones. You gotta give her back to me, please. I can learn to be better from her. The little girl in 301 is regaining consciousness. Welcome back, honey. Where am I? You're in the hospital. But you're gonna be okay. Oh, where's my mama? Where's my daddy? Where's my Uncle Michael? It's gonna be okay. They got the guy that shot you. And even though you were unconscious, you were the one who helped get the drug dealers out of your school. You know, Uncle Mike, you always made things sound so simple. Yeah, well, sometimes they are. They never are. You know, when I was unconscious, I had this dream. It was strange because it was so real. It's with me now as if I'd really lived it. What was it about? You and I, we were walking down this road. But there were no edges on it. Like, like if you walked off this road, you'd fall into space. So we had to be careful. And we were holding hands and then we stopped. And you looked at me and you said, all that's good and all that's bad lies on this road. And our salvation is how we walk along it. I said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty heavy. I didn't know I was such a good philosopher. Not good, Uncle Mike. Talk to you. Well, come on, let's go. Buy a hot dog. That's good. What, the hot dog or me running for mayor? Both. Who the hell are you, really? I'm Michael Santana. I need help. I think there are some very dangerous people in politics. You know a little about politics. You help political office. What's the pay? <laughs> You're not gonna make it easy, are you? I need your help, Mike. It's way over my head, but I wanna go for it. I haven't known you long. I won't judge you, not anymore. Help me to run for office. Help me to win. Help me to change things. All that's good and all that's bad lies on this road. And our salvation is how we walk it. Who said that? 
I didn't. In a little girl's dream, 